Well, Lori Vallow was found guilty of the murders of her two children and for conspiring to kill her husband's first wife last year. She was sentenced to life in prison. And now her husband, Chad Daybell, is standing trial seeking a different outcome. Well, joining us again this week is Lori Murray, who you might recognize as Lawyer Lori on TikTok for the Legal Lowdown. Lori, for starters, can you remind us about this case and Lori and Chad? Because it's wild and there's a lot to know about. There is a lot to know about it, and it is wild. This is um, nicknamed the Doomsday Killers, and that's because Chad Daybell was a, a Church of Latter-day Saints member, and he kind of broke off into his own little sect, started um, providing these apocalyptic books stating that Doomsday was around the corner and that he was chosen to lead the people into the promised land. Uh, only 144,000 people were going to make it, and that he and Lori uh, Vallow at the time were soulmates had been married in a previous life and they were supposed to lead them together uh this whole murder there's a lot of people that died around these people and the murders ended up occurring because from what they said these people became evil and the only way to cast out these evil spirits was to have these religious ceremonies and if that didn't work then they became zombies and the zombies the only way to kill them or to get that spirit out was to kill them so everybody that ended up dead around these people have been labeled as zombies it's a very strange case well chad is facing charges of first degree murder insurance fraud and conspiracy to commit murder and grand theft in connection to the deaths of Lori's two kids and his first wife tammy daybell why are the husband and wife duo standing separate trials? Because I know they were originally scheduled to have a joint trial. So how often does this happen? Well, as a criminal defense attorney, we always ask for a separate trial because we don't want evidence of the other defendant's guilt coming in and being used against our defendant. We want to make them prove the cases separately. We don't want the other defendant to taint the jury with regard to our client. So it happens all the time. It's very common. Well, as an attorney, do you normally see the same verdict? Do you think Chad has a chance of being found not guilty instead? I think he has about as much chance of being found not guilty as he does of leading the people to the promised land. Um, this is not going to be an easy case for him. And no, they don't. The verdicts are always generally the same. Look at the Crumleys who were just convicted a couple of, I think it was a month ago, sentenced yesterday. They were both found guilty, separate trials. The evidence is the same. The verdicts are most likely going to be the same. I mean, I would think that his attorneys are going to try and separate him from Lori's actions and thoughts as much as possible in the trial. But what do you think they would have to say about Chad also going to Hawaii while the kids were missing? He got remarried days after his first wife died and he himself even writing apocalyptic novels. Yeah, I think that the only real thing that they can say is, yeah, he was a terrible husband. Yeah, he's a terrible person. He might have been a little bit crazy, but that doesn't make him a murderer. So make sure that the case is separated from his religious beliefs to the actual murder and the evidence of his guilt of the murders. And I know Chad has kids of his own from his first marriage. What do they all have to say about this and what Chad and Lori are accused of doing to their mom? Have they spoken out? Oddly enough, they are in full support of their father and, you know, I'm not sure how you do that, but they are in full support of him. They say that the graves that Tali and JJ were found in, which was on his property, and that's Lori's children. Those are two of the murders that he's accused of. Those were shallow graves. They say that their father was a former grave digger and that if it was him that was digging the graves, that they would have been deeper. They actually point the finger at Lori Daybell's uh, brother, I keep mixing her up with Vallow and Daybell, but they point the finger at her brother who was actually present around that time and around this property. So they're pointing the finger at him. They are in full support of their father. Very interesting there. How long do you expect this trial to last? And is there anything that you're on the lookout for? I think it's gonna be interesting because it's it's been a while since we've seen a death penalty trial. So I think that the bifurcated trial and the, the guilt phase versus the sentencing phase are gonna be very interesting. So that's what I'm looking for. This is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. Mm -hmm. It is probably going to be at least two to two and a half months long. Oh, wow. Months we're talking about. So, yeah, we got some time to go on this one. Those opening statements starting today. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this trial. And thank you so much for joining us and giving us that insight, Lori. And as a reminder, make sure and tune in every Wednesday for the Legal Lowdown with Lori Murray and for other cases in South Carolina and even just across the country like this one that you should know about. Give at Lawyer Lori a follow on TikTok. And now.